Welcome to the SAS video tutorial on QQ plots or probability probability plots, also known as PP plots. I can't say that out loud, so I'm going to keep referring to these as QQ, even though they're technically not correct. All right, so we've been playing with this Cycler CPK data, which is available in the linked repository below. You can read it in uh, using a different video before on learning how to import data into SAS. We're going to be continuing on using PROC univariate because it has so many options, right? We've seen how to use it for confidence intervals, hypothesis tests on a center location. We've seen how to use it for creating histograms. And now what we want to do is we want to create a QQ plot, which looks at normality of your data. Now notice we've already checked normality of our data using a Shapiro Wilkes test, or wait, no, it was Komogorov Smirnoff and Anderson Darling test that uh, SAS provided to us as well. But here's a visual representation for checking for normality. And here in SAS, it's, let me get it right, it's three P's plot. So it's PP plot. And I'm going to capitalize that because that is a technically a SAS word. Okay, so I put this in here. I put in the variable that I'm interested in, which is age. And then I'm going to put in the word normal because I want it to check a normal distribution for me. Now, for some reason, and I don't know why, uh, my SAS smart editor leaves this in red, which leads you to believe that there's some sort of mistake. Uh, but we're going to give this a go anyway because I don't believe there's a mistake. I do believe this is going to work. So let's just give this a go and run this real quick and see what the output is. And sure enough, we get a PP plot slash QQ plot. Uh, I'll let you go back and see what the difference between the two are, but really they're essentially the same. Uh, one produces the quantiles, the other one looks at the probabilities. Okay, so if I look at this, I have the straight line for reference, which is really, really handy because that's what we were looking to see if the data follows. And if we look, it varies from it here and it varies from it here. So we would say that this is not normally distributed, but we kind of already knew that for this data uh, from the uh, previous things that we've looked at. Now, if you look above here, it does give just the same as before on the output. So there's no test for normality here. But when we did do it for the histogram, the test for normality did show up. So keep that in mind. Okay, so now we know how to create a QQ plot slash PP plot for variables that are in our any data set that we happen to have. All right, so let's move on to the next video.